Hi friends, this is Ankur from Fin Study Club, welcoming all viewers to very interesting reading called as Capital Structure. Now, you know, like every economic theory has two schools of thought, this economic theory would also have two, but more importantly, it is to understand as to what is the central point of debate here. What we are debating here uh, is can the firm increase its value? value as in the total value of the firm just by altering its capital structure so the word here uh, just by so the just is very very critical I mean so here the central point you know that some people would like to argue is that the value of the firm can increase only when the firm produces more sells more and generates more so they are the people who believe that it is not possible just by playing with the capital structure that the value of the firm go up but on the other hand, there are another school of thought, there, there are people who follow another school of thought, which feels that yes, it is very much possible, because and that's where the role of the financing decision comes into picture. If you recall, you know, as a finance manager, there are three decisions that you take, the financing decision, the investment decision, and the dividend decision. So the point here is that the role that the financing decision plays is motivating them to believe that yes it is possible to generate some value uh, you know the value of the firm just by altering the capital structure in a particular situation so we are going to study three theories here one uh, you know uh, what you have to understand and it is like a mind map for the, the following sessions also that you know we will be uh, you know doing together is that what is the key assumption that every theory is taking number one and what is the final recommendation that the theory is you know putting forward I mean is, is advocating so we're going to talk about two theories by Modigliani and Miller you know they have been a contrarian financial economist which tend to you know disagree with what other people are saying so so you know uh, MM in 1958 said something and then you know they are going to uh, you know you will see that they are going to reverse themselves you know uh, and, and, and a lot of people believe that you know they're not being a good economists because they have reversed and let's say countered themselves but the important point is if you look at the assumptions if the assumptions change obviously you know an economist can change its own views so 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 that's where you know the mm comes into picture one of the very interesting theory is going to be the static trade-off theory wherein we would be talking about you know uh, if, if we relax all the assumptions taken by mm originally what is it going to look like so you know th that's going to be like an overview you know mind map uh, stay tuned for the detailed sessions thank you